Hey, ah, I love, I hope technology holds tonight. So welcome. I am so glad to see some people here joining us tonight for this Essential Oils 101 spree cast. So I want to thank you guys for coming. For those of you who are watching the replay at a later time, thanks for joining us. Even after the fact, I think you're going to benefit and get a lot out of tonight's class. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I can keep it to 45 minutes. That would be a big achievement, but we all can have goals. So, so I am Susan Hyde. I'm a current Platinum Leader with Young Living, and I'm just really excited to share the content tonight for those um, avid oil users and also newbies and also those who have never even heard of essential oils. So um, if you guys want to give me a comment and make sure that you can hear me, that would be great. And then I know all technology is working and then we can be good to go. So a couple housekeeping notes as we get started for those who maybe are unfamiliar with Spreecast. Um, I, you can see there is a chat on the side, so you are welcome to comment. Actually, that is way, makes it a lot more fun um, as you know, we're doing the live event. So you can comment and um, you are welcome to ask questions during the event. I know we have some other people on that um, have been using um, essential oils for quite a while, so they might be able to help answer questions. Unfortunately, when I'm the only person presenting, it can be really hard for me to answer questions as we go through the material. So I'll be looking at questions at the end and um, you can save that question for that time if you didn't get the answer as well. So um, also, just to kind of give the blanket statement, I am not here to diagnose, treat, or prescribe. So if you're asking for specific questions on any of that, I am unable to give you that information. So just please respect that I'm trying to give information within my integrity. And so I would just ask that you would help respect that um, boundary so that I can share openly and publicly um, with those guidelines. Um, I will be showing some images on the screen. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Spreecast, it will come up right in the middle of the screen. Um, it's kind of nice because then it kind of blocks my face sometimes, which is good. Um, so if you, you can drag and move that image around if you do want to see my smiling face. Um, you can also click um, that image and it will take it and open it larger in another browser. So just something with the images that I'm sharing tonight, um, they aren't as crisp and clear because they're actually taken from the product guide. So there isn't anything I can do about that, but I think you're going to be able to get the most of the image. So. Um, so I just want to clarify that. So if an image comes up that, um, you know, you aren't kind of like, hey, it's kind of blurry, it kind of, you know, kind of fuzzy. So um, if you do um, have your starter kit already, you'll want to grab your product guide because I'm going to be referring to pages in that product guide as we go through the content. Um, that will be really helpful. Like I said, there are going to be images on the screen as well. So if you don't have a product guide, you're not going to be completely lost. So don't worry. Um, and you want to have a paper and pen to take some notes. So, um, so there you go. So there's the housekeeping part. So we're going to get started. Um, I don't know about you, but so it's like 6 o'clock Pacific time, and mo this mama needs some stress away. So if you've got some stress away and you need a little bit, go ahead and put it on because I – my family is out there eating dinner. This is kind of embarrassing, but hang on. Just gonna calm myself down because I had a busy day and I cooked meatloaf for my family. And of course, it didn't get all the way done. So now they're eating dinner when I had planned to have dinner all um, you know, done at the same time when we could all have dinner together and it didn't get done, kind of threw me in a tizzy. So I need some stress away. So this is the magic stress away. So if I could, I would love to pass a drop around to everybody so you could get the feeling of it. But if we were sitting around my kitchen table, I completely would. So if you see me looking down quite often, I'm using notes. This is how most people that share Young Living um, share because then we don't forget and we don't miss important information. So, so just know I'm not ignoring you. Um, I'm just really trying to make sure that I give you all of the information that I want to share. So, so I talked a little bit about stress away and I just want to say, you know, it's really interesting how one drop of oil can really make a difference. For me, 
Um, the products within Young Living have been a game changer for me and my wellness journey and just taking care of myself and my family. Um, it's transformed our life. It's been crazy that I have more energy, even being older, um, less stress because we have stress away. And it's just really, you know, a better wellness, better health, better um, overall um, you know, waking up, looking forward to the day. I think that's the biggest change for me. So, so before I got started with um, Young Living, I was an emotional mess. So I don't know if anybody can relate to that, um, but I was a mom. I was overwhelmed. Um, you know, motherhood is really hard. So I had some good days, but the bad days really outnumbered those good days. Um, I was in a cloud of stress. I was overwhelmed. I was moody. Um, my husband was like, he wasn't sure, you know, what he was going to expect. And I really had, you know, a lot of hopelessness that was going on. So, you know, moms can kind of relate to that. And so I um, also um, encountered some pretty significant health issues um, about four years ago. And so I was just looking for some other holistic ways to care for my health. And then I just began this journey and learned a lot about, um, you know, uh, the wellness and things that, that God has created for us to take care of our bodies. So, so I am primarily a blogger, and that is what you know I do. But when I began to see some real significant changes in how um, you know my body was responding to different aspects, not only the oils, but some other aspects of a holistic lifestyle, I shared that you know with my audience, and it really resonated and helped other people jump on board. So now I get to you know, not only continue to blog and support and encourage moms on my blog, which is The Confident Mom, if you aren't aware, um, but I also get the joy of sharing Young Living with other people because if somebody hadn't shared it with me, like I would still be in the dark and have no idea about essential oils. So, so I'm excited. So, so if you were sitting around my kitchen table now and we were just having a little chat, I would be passing around some oil for you to put into your water. One of the favorite ones that I love to put in my water is lemon. So before we jump into this, I kind of want to do a little clarification here. And I'm going to put the first image up on the screen. So here I want to just talk about, I'm going to be sharing um, with you about some oils that actually come in two different labeling options. So you'll see on the screen, this one is actually Thieves. It is actually the same exact oil, but it's put into two different bottles so that they, we can talk about it compliantly through the FDA guidelines. So the Thieves Vitality is a dietary supplement, so we can talk about using that internally. And then the one on the other side is a topical and aromatic labeled oil. So we can talk about diffusing that and also applying it on your skin. And we're gonna jump more into that. But I just wanted to share, as I go through some of the oils, I will be um, giving you both alternatives so I can talk to you about using them all three ways, which we'll jump into a little bit more too, which is um, aromatically, topically, and also um, you can ingest Young Living too. So I just wanted to make, make it very clear, it's the same oil in each of those bottles, they just are labeled for different use so we can stay in compliance. So, so let's jump about and jump in and talk about lemon. So let me put that guy up there. So lemon is awesome. Whoever has a story or something to share about lemon, you can hop in and comment. Oh, thanks, Christina, yeah, for linking to that product guide. You can see these images are not, you know, crystal clear, but, you know, they're readable and they will do. And if you want to open it bigger, you can click on it and it will open it into um, bigger in your browser. So, so lemon is great in your water. So that is definitely lemon vitality is something I use. I use a glass water bottle here and I love putting a couple drops in my water bottle. Just shake it up before I'm going to take a swig and it just makes drinking more water enjoyable. And we all know that we don't get enough water and um, when you can make it a little more appetizing, it's definitely, um, you know, more enjoyable to be drinking. So lemon is also great to balance um, proper pH levels in the body, and it's very helpful for people that are more acidic. And so if you need a little more information on that, I would Google that separately, but um, for me, lemon is very helpful for that. 
it is definitely a favorite in the diffuser. Um, it is one of those ones you can pop a few drops in your diffuser. So there's my diffuser going right there. Um, and it will really just brighten the room. I mean, it kind of is one of those sneaky ones because you can put some lemon in there and it almost is like you just cleaned your house, but you really didn't. So I love it. It is high and powerful D-limonene, which um, Google that D-limonene and then it's going to tell you all the good stuff that you can find and why that's such a great property. Um, when you actually diffuse the lemon, um, not only do you give that kind of like, oh, I just cleaned my house thing, but it actually does purify the air, which is really helpful. So, And then another little trick that lo people love to use lemon for, especially the topical um, version, is um, to take sticky residue off of um, bottles. So I just had a bottle that I had some seasoning in, and I was like, oh, this is going to be a great size to um, maybe gift somebody some bath salts in. So I wanted to get this huge um, residue off because I had soaked it, got the main part of the label off, but it was still really, you know, gooey. And I just took some lemon oil and a paper towel and got the rest off and it worked like a charm. And you don't have that nasty stink. I mean, I used to use something else, which I'm not going to name, but um, I used to use something else to get that off. And so it was really mm -hmm. gross. So, and lately, and we just chat a little bit about Instapot, and I love using um, some lemon vitality when I'm roasting a chicken in the Instapot. I just put a, like four drops around um, on top of the chicken, pop that baby in, and it's just amazing how that can add to the flavor of the um, chicken. So, yeah, so love, love the lemon. So, we're going to pop and talk about peppermint next. So here we go. So this one comes in the topical and aromatic and also in the vitality so that you can adjust it. Um, oh, I was I forgot to mention the page number when we're going through. If you do have your product guide and you want to follow along. So peppermint is actually on page 25 in your product guide. If you want to look specifically at the vitality one, um, it's on page 32. But these images are taken right from the product guide. So if you don't want to... Um, skim through it, you do not have to. This is what you're going to find there when you're going through. So, so an interesting fact, which I always kind of love, some of those facts. Some of them can get really, you know, you're like, oh, no more facts. But I do love to know that one drop of peppermint is equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea. That just gives you a little more information to understand how powerful essential oils are and how effective they are. And you don't have to have huge quantities. So, it helps alleviate occasional, occasional nausea, which is powerful if you are, you know, traveling by plane or maybe you have some car trips coming up, those kind of things. Or, you know what, maybe you got a baby. So I know a lot of people have had success um, with that. So I love that it increases alertness, concentration, and focus, and it's very helpful for memory retention. So. I know my college age student is taking finals. I think it's next week. So um, you know what? Having a bottle of peppermint in their pocket and just being able to breathe right from the bottle is really helpful. It's amazing how that can really, um, you know, keep yourself alert. Also, driving. If you're taking long driving trips, either we we have a great um, little diffuser that we can plug in in our car. But if you don't have that, just have a bottle of peppermint and take it out and take a couple deep breaths and it's really going to wake you up. And it's great, especially if you have to drive in the night because nobody likes to be out there and, you know, wanting to have that, you know, where you're nodding off. Not good. Um, it definitely is effective for opening up your sinuses. So this springtime can be kind of an issue for people. So peppermint is really helpful for um, just taking a big whiff of that. Um, it is also one of the main ingredients in a, another product that Young Living has, which I think is one of the most popular products, which is Deep Relief. And it comes in a roll-on, and it's great for occasional headaches or um, sore muscles after you've done a run, or maybe you're a weightlifter. It's really great for that. So, Or maybe you've overdone it in the yard. So, um, so love a peppermint. So, and I love that you guys are having so much fun in the conversation. That's really helpful. So, so now, if you were sitting here, I would have passed around the peppermint. You would have been able to breathe that in and see for yourself. So, um, so 
now that you guys would have been alert if you were sitting at my kitchen table, I'm going to just kind of share with you some things um, about the health in America today. Because when I was reading some of these statistics, I was like, oh, man, it's, we're in a sad, sorry state. So have you ever noticed an increase in health care costs over the last several years? Hello? Like, uh, I think we all are in that boat. Healthcare spending in 2014 totaled $3.8 trillion and accounted for one out of every $5 the nation spends. Ouch, that's like big stuff. The trend is driven by increasing healthcare costs, which I think we can all attribute to have seen that over the last few years. A decline in health, like I think we are sicker now than we've ever been as a society. Um, and the recent healthcare bill has only really made things worse. So did you know that according to the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, spending on healthcare in the US is increasing at a rate of three times the rate of inflation? So obviously, now is the time to be taking care of yourself before you're having to kind of do repair work. I mean, that's what, that's what our healthcare kind of is. It's like it's not really taking care of yourself. It's waiting until something goes wrong and then you come back to repair. So, um, so anyway, I just was like, ugh, so, so one more statistic I want to share with you and then we're going to move on to talk, some more, talk more oils. According to the studies done by Dr. Barbara Starfield of the John Hopkins School of Hygiene and Public Health, each year 12,000 people die from unnecessary surgeries. 7,000 from medication errors in hospitals, 20,000 from other types of errors in hospitals, 80,000 from infections in the hospital. Yeah, like I had to go visit somebody in the hospital two weeks ago and I was kind of like scared. Like I didn't want to go in the hospital because of a statistic like that. And then another 106,000 people die each year from negative effects on drugs. Uh, that's kind of huge, so yeah. So the wellness is industry is projected to double in the next 10 years. People are taking notice, this is huge. I mean, if you haven't you know, seen other people around you being a little more aware of what they're putting in their body, watch out because it's gonna start happening really soon. With the aging baby boomer generation, the risks associated with modern medicine, um, like, do you ever, when you're watching the football game and they, they show all of those medication commercials, like the, the warnings that they list at the end of the commercial is longer than they're talking about the benefits of, <laughs> of the product. It's like crazy. So more and more people really are wanting to achieve better health, you know, a natural way. So I'm just so excited to share with this, this with you. So, so we're going to talk a little bit about the history and benefits of uh, essential oils. So if you are new and you don't know about essential oils, we're going to touch on that right now. So essential oils are actually the liquids from plants and they are distilled from those plants. So it could be stems, it could be leaves, flowers, and those oils contain very small molecules. They are different from fatty oils like a coconut oil or olive oil that you normally cook with, which have a very large molecule. So Therapeutic essential oils are taken by the bloodstream. So you, when you apply it, it goes right into your skin and it absorbs into the bloodstream and is carried to every cell within the entire body in a matter of minutes. This is why they are so effective and a better alternative to some other options that we have. They are powerful agents that are used for ar aromatherapy, personal care, um, household solutions, and essential oils support every single system of your body. It's amazing. And that this page here in your product guide is page 11. So, so we're gonna talk a little bit about what makes Young Living a little bit different. What is our purpose? So this is on page four of your product guide. So Young Living is a company that's founded on the principle that nature has the ability to support our every body system. Um, bringing great wellness and abundance to people all over the world has been the top priority of Young Living's founder, D. Gary Young, and his CEO wife, Mary Young. So Gary has built 
farms all over the world. Let me switch out because this, um, I love this um, page in the product guide. So it's page seven through 10. Um, and this talks about, we have 10 farms around the world and Gary is completely open about the farming practices on those farms. So Gary loves for their members to be part of the seed plantings all the way to the harvest and distillation process. There are no pesticides or chemicals used on the farms, and there is actually crews that hand pick the weeds. So I was fortunate enough to participate in a Melissa harvest. So Melissa is an oil and a plant, and um, we grow it in our um, St. Mary's farm in Idaho. And I was actually um, so blessed to participate in that entire process from um, harvesting it to distilling it, seeing it go to the oil and then put into a bottle. It was incredible. And I was out in that field hand hoeing the weeds in some of the other lavender fields at that farm. So I can vouch that it is accurate. Young Living was started over 21 years ago and we're the only company in the world that is not an oil broker. So that is what you want to be really cautious about is that other different companies can purchase from any hoo-ha that is selling some oil and they don't know where it came from. They don't know what was actually used um, in the growing process. And for me and my family, that is really important information to know if I'm going to be really looking to have the best optimal health and know what I'm putting into my body. So, so since we do our own our own farms and distilleries and have organic farming practices, these, the fact is that our oils are really more, better than organic. You can ingest them and we'll talk about that. We already talked about the lemon and how you ingest that. So Young Living does have its own internal labs and we also have third party testing audits um, to verify that we do have purity and potency standards, standards that are met and surpassed. So, um, so I love that. So we are actually the first company to pioneer um, combining pure essential oils with supplements in an oil. So those have had a real profound effect on my wellness journey too. We're not going to talk about those tonight, but if you've been invited to this class by somebody, I would definitely ask them a little bit more about that. If you are really looking to incorporate um, some other things into you know, your health journey and it will be fabulous. So. Um, so in the catalog, you'll find more about the Seed to Seal Promise, which is exclusive to Young Living. So you can take a look at that. So we're going to jump and talk about the three ways to use essential oils. I've talked just briefly about a couple of the ways. So that's on page 13. You'll see it here on your screen. So the first way is aromatically and diffused. So so in the beginning of the class, remember I was talking about the stress away, put it on my hands and I cupped it over my nose and I just breathed in. That is the simplest, easiest way to use essential oils. You don't need, actually, the simplest way is just to open the lid and breathe in. So you don't even have to put it on your body, but when you do put it on your body, you're kind of getting two, um, what's the saying, two, two for one. So you're getting topical absorption and you're also breathing it in. So it's great. So when you do that, you are getting um, the oil in. So when you breathe the molecules of the oil in, because they're so small, they go from the olfactory nerves to stimulate the limbic system in your brain. So the re that region of the brain only communicates through a sense of smell. And that is where a lot of the emotion stuff happens in that limbic system. So that's why essential oils are so effective for emotional support. So for me, when I shared at the beginning my personal journey, um, that's why essential oils were really um, beneficial for me. It was great. So diffusing is another way. So my diffuser is right here. Yeah, so this is our dew drop diffuser. So you just put some oil in your diffuser, put a couple drops of oil in there and turn it on and it's diffusing through the room that you're in. Even people that maybe don't really want to be doing essential oils or snake oils or, you know, they're the skeptics, they're still breathing it in and they're still getting the benefits. So um, diffusing gets rid of nasty odors in your home. Instead of just covering it up, it's actually taking care of um, the odor. 
So we love just fusing all kinds of different combinations, but one of our favorites at night is diffusing lavender in the evening. It does help calm everybody down, especially my six-year-old, um, and we get a good night's sleep. So it's great to be able to do that. So another way is to use them topically. So a couple drops is all it takes to see the benefits of using essential oils. So you're not having to slather on a whole bunch. You can dilute it with a carrier oil like V6, which is one of um, Young Living's carrier oils, or you can use coconut oil or something like that. So um, normally it's just personal choice, whether you choose to dilute. Um, if you have sensitive skin, it's probably a really good idea. You can also put oil on the bottom of your feet where your largest pores and all your nerve endings are. Who would have thought? I mean, that's one of the places. When I first got my kid, I was like, what? So very, very effective, especially if you have an oil that maybe you're not too keen on the smell. It is amazing that you can put it on your feet, very effective, and just put your socks on. So couple things I want to just touch on here with topical use. So care should be taken to dilute oils that are hot to the skin. So one that comes to mind we're going to talk about is Thieves oil, which we're going to talk about in a couple minutes. If an oil feels hot or tingly to your skin, don't wash it off with water. That only pushes the oil um, deeper into your skin because oil and water don't mix. So you'll want to just add more carrier oil until it can disperse it across your skin. That's how you want to take care of that. Um, conservative usage guides recommend that peppermint, rosemary, sage, eucalyptus, and wintergreen are not to be used <clears throat> above the bottom of the feet on children under the age of 18 months. So something to keep in mind if you have little ones. Um, if you've pre previously applied those oils to your children that are younger than that and had no issues, then I would just continue using them. So, ah, sorry, I had to get a drink. <clears throat> and also, another little thing you want to be aware of, citrus oils like orange <clears throat> or lemon or bergamot are photosensitive. So if you apply them talk up, talk, Topically, you want to make sure you're not out in the sun within at least 12 hours. So if I'm going to be outside, I will apply those oils where I know they're going to be covered by um, some type of clothing because it will definitely cause your skin to burn. So you don't want that. So we're going to talk about eternal. So let me take another drink here so I can get through talking about it. So internal, so we're going to talk about those ways you can use the Vitality oils, which Young Living has an entire line. So you can take oils internally in a capsule. So I should have had one here. Maybe I do. I keep one here sometimes. Um, you know, I do have one. Yay for being at my desk and I can show you guys. So sorry. So this is just an empty um, vegetable capsule. And you can just take it apart. This is a double zero capsule. So you can just drop some oil in one side. And sometimes you would use a carrier oil if you'd like. And sometimes you can just put the oil in there. And then you just put the little top on it. And then you can um, swallow it. It works really well if you want to take um, oils internally. Um, you can put them <clears throat> in your water bottles like I was doing here. Um, so it's just a great way um, to support a healthy immune system and maintain proper pH balance, like what we mentioned with the lemon. It's really great for that. And then also promote um, healthy digestion. So um, peppermint is great for that. Also, another one we're going to talk about, Daijai. So um, essential oils are not recommended orally or topically for anybody undergoing chemotherapy or radiation. Inhaling the oil for relaxation purposes should be just fine. Um, pregnant women, people who are, are, have epilepsy and those with high blood pressure should also consult their doctor before using essential oils. So, so now let's get ready to talk about a few more oils. I wish you guys were all here at my house because I could pass around these oils. So I've got them here in a nice little display, but I, if I sit this way, I guess, I guess I could scoot over a little bit so you can see them here, but they would all be out of that little case and I'd be passing them around. So. So we are going to talk about lavender. So the product guide has lavender on page 22. So lavender is a favorite. I already talked about using it at bedtime for calming everybody down. So if you've got a favorite way that you use lavender, 
you know, give it a shout out in the comments there. So um, definitely it's called the Swiss Army Knife of oils. It has, if you aren't sure what oil to use, use lavender. It is amazing. So you can use it on um, soothing minor skin irritations and also for sun exposed skin, it's perfect for that. I always have a bottle of lavender in my purse so that I'm never without it. Using it on the bottom of your feet before bed is great. Unwinding, you know, this would be a perfect time in the evening to put lavender in the diffuser in your family room area where everybody's congregating. It just makes things smoother for you know your nighttime routine. And I actually have a little spray bottle filled up in my son's room. And I'll just um, go and give about four squirts over his um, bedding before he hops in. And he loves that. It's like a little game. So it's great that I can be It is not full of chemicals and um, it is non-toxic. So it's wonderful to have that feeling. So um, it also is a great one to add to complement some of your, maybe your favorite shampoo you have or a lotion. You can add some lavender in or, you know, just put it on your skin. It's great. So, so that is lavender. We're going to talk next about thieves, which I just touched on being um, one of those hot oils that we have. So this is on page um, 43 in your product guide and the vitality description is on page 32. So Thieves is a powerful blend, and I don't say that lightly. It is a powerful blend um, of oils that supports the immune and respiratory system. So it's actually a blend of cinnamon, clove, rosemary, eucalyptus, and lemon. So it was actually named after a band of robbers who were uh, grave robbing during the plague in the 15th century. They were soaking their handkerchiefs that they used in this blend and then touching plague victims. So, so this one can be taken, the vitality can be taken in a capsule, very effective for supporting the immune system. Um, or you can put it in some tea or maybe in a spoonful of honey, cup, put a couple drops of thieves on that. Um, you can rub the topical and aromatic blend um, on the bottom of your feet. Um, we get this handy little roller ball in the kit and that is really handy to put on thieves so you can just roll it right on the bottom of your feet. I don't have thieves on here, but I have a different oil that's set right here. So let me just show you what I'm talking about for those that don't know. But this is what a roller bowl on top of one of the bottles of oil would look like. And then you can just roll it right on your skin. You don't have to get it on your fingers or anything like that. So it's super handy to have those. So let me move my graphic over. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> Okay, um, let's see, where am I? Where, so using it before and after you get off or on an airplane, like who likes to travel in, in that like tube? It's like nasty in there and everybody's like cooped up for all that time and everybody's breathing all that air. It's like, yikes. So yeah, definitely one that you want to be um, using when you're traveling on an airplane. Also, going into school, it's like going into the jungle. It's like, yikes. So another one that is great for that. It's definitely one for supporting a healthy immune system. It's safe. It's a natural alternative to using some other options in your home. Um, so sometimes we'll add some uh, Ningxia or some thieves to our Ningxia. I also love to use lemon in our Ningxia. It's a great addition and just another way um, to get some extra support. Um, you can also use it in some ingredients. Somebody posted, I um, I had you made some applesauce, but I just put cinnamon bark in it. But somebody actually made homemade applesauce and put the Thieves Vitality in the recipe. And I bet that was great. So the next time I'm going to use the Thieves Vitality. So, so like I said, Thieves is a hot oil. So you want to make sure that um, the first few times that you use it, that you are diluting it. So... Um, a lot of people can use it and they don't have to dilute it with a carrier oil, but um, it's better to be safe than sorry. So, so we're going to talk about frankincense next. So if you're following along in your product guide, that's page 20. So the, um, this one here is what is, comes right out of the product guide. So, so this one 
is one that everybody's always heard of before. It is referred to as the liquid gold, and it's mentioned over 50 times in the Bible. I'm sure we're all really familiar with the story of, you know, frankincense being brought to baby Jesus. So it is incredibly beneficial for the skin. Um, I love taking my um, the moisturizer that I use in the evening, and I'll put a couple drops of frankincense in that moisturizer a couple, like every other night. And I can just tell, it just gives my um, skin a glow, and it just seems a little bit smoother. So I love that. At my age, I need to get into the smoothing thing. So <laughs> so if, you're, if you need a little more smoothing ability, you'll love frankincense. So it is often used in meditation and it uh, supports emotional and spiritual well-being. So another one that is incredible for emotional support. So frankincense is high in sesquiterpenes, which sesquiterpenes actually oxygenate the mind and the body. Um, and that one, Google sesquiterpenes, because you will want to know what that um, does more for your body. So okay, we're going to move on and talk about Digize here. So here, Digize comes in um, the Vitality blend and also um, just the topical and aromatic blend. So in the product guide is page 35 for the topical and page 30 for the Vitality blend. So this one, I will say, is not a uh, nose-friendly oil. <laughs> so, Definitely has a very unique smell. If you were here and I was passing it around, I would get some really interesting faces from you guys. But I will say it is very powerful in helping to support the digestive system. So this is a blend that has ginger, anise, fennel, peppermint, tarragon, lemongrass, patchouli, and juniper in it. It definitely is helpful for soothing stomach discomfort. You can take it as a dietary supplement, like in a capsule. You could even just put it in the, an, a small glass of water and take it down um, for the vitality. The um, one for topical use, remember, they're the exact same oil. They're just labeled differently. Um, I've used the one topically across my lower abdomen when I've just needed some extra support there, and it's been really helpful. So. It is definitely one, if you're traveling, you do not want to be without. I can tell you that right now. So make sure that it is in your travel kit. So we are going to jump and talk about some more blends. So purification. So if you have teenagers, this is going to be a great, <laughs> a great uh, one to have. So page 41 in your product guide. So purification is a blend of lemongrass, rosemary, lavendine, melaleuca L. tornifolia, myrtle, and citronella. It is a blend that was specifically formulated to eliminate odors. So if you know, you know, why I said if you have teenagers, you want this one, especially, actually, I should have said boys, because they're like more stinky. But, um, but it's great because it's it's formulated to eliminate the odors, not just cover them up. Instead of just spraying your room with some spray to cover up and maybe smell something else, this is actually going to eliminate those odors. So it's great to make a spray to spray on children and adults to enjoy the outdoors annoyance free and avoid those toxic chemicals that can be in a lot of other substances that you use. <clears throat> it's powerful for supporting healthy skin. It makes a great non-toxic cleaning choice for its purification properties. Um, you can also use it for occasional blemishes, and I do get occasional blemishes. I got one the other night right here. <laughs> and the first thing I did was go in and apply some purification right to that, and bam. So it's great. You can put it on um, some cotton balls and put it in the vents in your car, and it will keep your um, car smelling good. Like we have dogs. I, my dogs love going for rides, but sometimes they get a little stinky, and then the car kind of gets stinky. So I love that I can just put a few cotton balls around in my car with purification, and um, it's great. I also have a spray bottle mixed up just with water and some purification um, at my washing machine because I have a front loader and it tends to get a little stinky, and this just takes care of it. After you know a few different loads, I can just spray the inside of the washer, and it seems to really 
be beneficial in helping take care of that. So, so that's purification. So let's talk about Panaway. Panaway is it's on page 41 of your product guide. So this one is another, it's, it's a member favorite. Um, Panaway has a stimulating aroma and it's popular and it's a combination of wintergreen, helichrysum, clove, and peppermint. And it was formulated by D. Gary Young. This blend is ideal to apply topically after exercise and daily activity. So coming up on springtime and we're going to be all working outside in the yard. This is one that you want to have, that and deep relief. So it helps soothe the musculoskeletal system. It's great to rub on your back, on your legs, and your neck, your shoulders. It's great for anywhere. So that one's a great one for um, the whole body. <clears throat> We're going to talk about um, Copaiba. I know this one, if you just had this on the screen, you probably wouldn't know how to say it. It took me a while to learn how to say Copaiba. So page 19 of your product guide. So this one has a history of very soothing properties. So it is a resin, um, which is a little bit different. So when I say resin, it's actually taken from the bark of the tree. So similar, frankincense is kind of the same way. It's not taken from a leaf. Um, and so that makes it a little bit different. But And um, Copaiba um, is uh, great for aiding in digestion as well. So it helps support the body's natural response to injury or irritation. And it also helps the body regulate its natural immune responses. So this one is really like a little secret agent. I would Google... Um, this one and see what you can find about it that maybe I can't share with you that would be really helpful but it is one that I won't live without in fact I woke up the other morning and I had slept a little bit wrong and I was like yikes it's just like oh man so I had this is not my copaiba but I do have copaiba that has the rollerball attached right to it and I just started rolling that baby all over and <sighs> That's what I can say about that. So <laughs> it's traditionally used in Native American recipes. And you don't have to dilute it unless you have really, really sensitive skin. So, so that is Copa Eva. And I love that it comes in the starter kit. So hey, we just have a couple more to go through. RC. So everybody give a shout out for RC. It's on page 41 of your product guide. So this is another blend that Young Living had has it's a blend of cypress spruce and three types of eucalyptus so you've got eucalyptus globulus eucalyptus radiata and eucalyptus citrodora and it includes the natural occurring constituents limonene so which is different than the d-limonene which we talked about in the lemon so limonene you can um, google that property and see what is great about that so this one uh, rc is great for any time type of where situation where you want to breathe easier um, coming up in this time of year it's great I love coming home during the winter time and putting this one in the diffuser it just has just this wakening aroma that can go through the house and I just feel so much better it's definitely stimulating and rejuvenating um, for your environment it's another one that makes a great bath salt recipe because the vapors that come from this one when you are soaking in the tub very powerful so keep that in mind and you can also make a chest rub using rc which is some coconut oil very nice for your chest or your throat too okay we are going to talk about stress away really quick we talked about this one at the beginning so here's my little bottle it's not really little this is a 15 milliliter but this is Stress Away. This is found on page 42 of your product guide. So, so Young Living adds a bonus oil to our starter kit, and it is Stress Away. And this one is a blend of seven oils. You've got Copaiba, which we just talked about. You've got lime, cedarwood, vanilla, okatea, lavender, and also coconut oil. So it's already diluted. It's a unique blend of stress-relieving, Hello, like it's called stress away <laughs> and relaxing essential oils that can help reduce occasional nervous tension so I have a six-year-old and peace and calming is his 
favorite oil. However, sometimes we don't always have peace and calming handy. So this is another one that can be really good for calming down overactive kiddos, you know, getting everybody in a state of just being calm. I think somebody was asking today, what would be the oil you would take on a, I can't remember if it was 16 or 20 hour car drive. And this was one of the most popular oils that came up for using in your car if you were gonna be cooped up for a long car ride. So, so this one is definitely, the name says it all, it's great. So then um, I wanted just to touch really briefly on another product that Young Living has that actually comes in our start kit. It is Ningxia Red. This one might be a little bit hard to see here, um, but it's page uh, 65 in your product guide. So in your starter kit, you actually get two packets of Ningxia Red. Let me, I guess I can just show you. Here's a little box that comes in the starter kit. So let me just show you what these packets look like. They are handy little packets, so you can take them on the go or whatever, but you get two of those in your starter kit. So Gary Young was really interested in vitality, and so he, in his research, looked around and then he discovered the Ningxia berry. So the Ningxia berry is phenomenal. So why would you wanna be having Ningxia? What benefits would you have? So let me just share. So the balanced ingredients make Ningxia red a whole body nutrient infusion for health and wellness support, and I'm not kidding. It supports normal, function. It contains powerful ingredients that are involved in many natural antioxidant processes. It supports good health and overall wellness. It promotes, provides whole body health support. Um, it supports normal eye health. We all, I know, I have glasses, but <laughs> we all want to be able to see when we're 80 and 90 years old. So um, it delivers citrus essential oils, which contain that D-limonene, which we kind of touched on, that lem is in lemon, and which is a powerful component in those citrus oils. It energizes, and I know I've got people here that can totally vouch for that, uh, how it can be very energizing for your body. Um, it's formulated from exotic fruits. Powerful formula includes wolfberry, which is touted for its health benefits, and it helps prevent against oxidative stress, and it's definitely a healthy daily supplement. This is something that I take daily, and it's just been a game changer. I mean, I mentioned at the beginning I had some significant health challenges come into my life several years ago, and I believe that this is one of the elements that has um, been great for my wellness journey. So anyway, so that is the goodies that are in um, our starter kit. So let's talk about how do you get these items that we were talking about. So there are two ways that you can get started with Young Living. One is as a retail customer. You just purchase the items here. So the items that we talked about tonight, if you decide you want all those oils that we talked about, um, you can get the 10 everyday oils for $160, but it would be without the diffuser. So the second option, which is by far the best, and I'm all about being frugal and getting the most for your money, is the wholesale membership. And I'm going to put up this page where it talks about the different starter kits here. This is page 100 of your product guide. So a wholesale membership with a premium starter kit is $160. So retail value for all those items that you're seeing is $365. So, so behind me you can see there's a starter kit. So you've got this diffuser, you've got those 10 oils, then you would also have this box, which I just kind of sneakily um, had grabbed the Ningxia out of, but you would have this whole part two, which has your Ningxia samples here, your stress away. You would have a roller fitament, which I talked about how you could put it on the top of a bottle. You would also have some sample cards, also some sample bottles, and these great little sachet packs. You could share with somebody else, or you could keep in your purse, which I love. And then you also get a bunch of literature here, whoops, sorry, I can't get it on the screen, which is great. So with the wholesale membership in this kit, you receive 24% off retail prices for all future orders. Um, you know, 
we're willing to pay for a Costco membership, but that needs to be renewed every year, not with this membership. One time of a startup cost or starter kit, and then you just need to purchase 50 PV every year, and that keeps your membership active. So it's really the way to go and the most cost effective. So if you are, you're not required to distribute or any products that is like the biggest like thing I want to make sure people get a little bit hung up thinking of membership and everything however you do have the choice to share living with other people and I love every time you refer somebody to purchase a start kit with young living you're going to get a thank you check for dollars from living it's amazing, one, that you get a thank you check from your link, but these oils are like incredible. So you kind of get two great benefits. So, so if you are interested in sharing Young Living um, with others after you purchase a kit, please make sure that you get in touch with, with the person that invited you to this event here tonight too, because um, they would be more than happy to help you get started with different resources and that. So, so this graphic shows you the different kits that are available. I basically like to direct people just to the starter kit that has the dew drop to few, which is the one here. It's the one that's 160. There are some other options that have different diffusers that are a little more expensive. So just look at the information and see which is the best fit for you. So and just remember a couple things. 24% off forever with your membership. You just have to purchase 50 PV in a year to keep your membership. And who knows? You could make some money by sharing it to pay for oils to care for your family if you choose to do that. But you don't have to either. So I love it. So we're going to just really quickly touch on essential rewards because this is another benefit that members have. So. This is on page 101 of your product guide. So as a wholesale member, you can sign up for Young Living's frequent buyer program, which is called Essential Rewards. So if you're looking to get rid of stuff in your home that is toxic, this is what you want to be looking at because Essential Rewards is great because you get free money back, basically. You can chip away at the problem of you know, replacing different products in your home and you get a percentage back on what you purchase. So this is kind of how it works in a quick rundown. You'll get points back that will help you get free product later, which is super exciting. I love spending my essential reward points getting stuff for free. You also get reduced flat rate shipping, which is perfect. Your auto ship order um, must be at least 50 PV per month, which is basically $50. On most items, the PV amount is the same as a dollar amount. You can change your order every month, which is something that can be a little bit different if you've ever participated in an auto ship program before. Sometimes you're stuck ordering the same thing every month. Now, Young Living, you can change everything in your cart every month to just order what your family needs and what they want to try. So I love that. You can also change the date. There's no cost to sign up, and you can cancel at any time. And so here's the best part. From months one to six, you earn 10%. From uh, 7 to 12, you earn 15% back. And then after 13 months, you earn 20% back on whatever you're purchasing every month on your essential rewards order. So I love that. So if you are interested in really going um, full force, I totally recommend getting the Dewdrop kit and then also the essential rewards thieves kit because you're getting so much stuff. So in that thieves kit, you're getting toothpaste, you're getting household cleaner, you're getting some thieves mouthwash, foaming hand soap, hand purifier, and then you also get um, some uh, thieves oil, the 15 milliliter bottle. So it's a great way to kind of get started. Then you're also going to get the promotions that Young Living offers for free. So depending on what month you're signing up, you're going to get even more stuff for free, which is great. So, so that is a central reward. So before we wrap up, I just want to talk about a couple other things. We would never want anybody to purchase a kit, and then we would not leave you hanging. So I can talk for my group. 
Um, so if you were invited to this event by somebody else, please reach out and ask them what support that they offer. And, you know, because they everybody offers something a little bit different. I can only speak for myself. Um, but we have great information that comes in your starter kit here. I told you on that one section, there'll be things that pull out. So you've got a guide um, to essential oils. You'll have the Young Living Roadmap that talks about the farm. Um, you'll also have access to YL University, which goes deeper into the science and the usage of oils. Um, and that is a great resource. Then you also get the following from our team, which is access to monthly classes. And I do classes online, which make it so great for people all over the country, all over the world, actually. And I love that everybody can watch live or they can watch the replay. One-on-one -on -one coaching, that is really pivotal. You can have extensive guides and resource material to get you started that can be really handy. We have systems in place to make sure that you are well cared for and supported. And then we have a private Facebook group for those who join. We've got over 50 leaders and over 2,000 people that are there to walk along and help support you in this journey. So I love it. So it's like so much fun. Like I said, I get real joy from helping people experience better health this way. So, so now we've got the ending here. So you you have come and you've learned, and I'm so glad that you came. So typically there's three types of people, so I'm going to kind of wrap this up. So either you came and you're this person where you're like, okay, no, I'm not really interested, you know, thanks, but no thanks. So, you know, you're the person that just are, isn't maybe really that interested in changing things in your home, but you came to listen and I'm so glad you did because this may be a first step for somewhere down the road or maybe not, but I'm glad that you came. and. You know, if you have questions, um, further questions, make sure you ask the person that invited you. The second type of person maybe is a little more serious and is thinking, well, this sounds kind of good, but I'm not really ready to commit to this full crazy kid of oils. So that's totally cool. And you can ask the person that invited you to the event. Maybe you have some other questions that you, you know, need to get answered. They would be happy to help you. Or I'll take some questions here in a few minutes when I wrap up. So, or maybe you're the third person. And the third person, which was me, I had finally reached the point where I wasn't getting what I needed um, from Western medicine, and I was really open to looking at other alternatives. And so I was ready to jump in. Sign me up, give me the kit, like tomorrow, or I needed it yesterday. So that, is, that was me. So maybe that's you. So if that's you, um, I wanna say, you know, if, I invited you to this event, please contact me. So um, my email, I, whoops, I just put it over on the comment section. I will put my email there. Um, and then <clears throat> I also, there we go. Um, or you can contact the person that invited you as well. So this is a referral business. So I, if somebody invited you to this event to watch and learn, I love to help other people, but I would want you to go back and contact the person that invited you. They're going to be the one to walk along with you and really support you. So, so I want to just make that really clear. Um, so that's my email address for anybody that has, um, you know, questions or something along that line. And I also wanted to share our team has a team website, which might be fun, the Confident Oily Mom. So if you want to take a look over it there, you can see some people on our team and what areas of the country that they live in too, which is really fun. <clears throat> and then if you are like, okay, Susan invited me and I am ready to go like right now, then um, you can go to the link that I just put into the chat bar, the chat comment there, and um, you can order your kit today and get started. So. So anyway, so thank you guys for coming tonight. I didn't quite make my 45 minutes, but I did make an hour. So that's pretty good. But we covered a lot of material. And I know there were people here helping answer questions for me. I so appreciate that because, like I said, I couldn't answer them as I was going through the material. So, so if you do have questions, I am happy to try to answer them. Please, again, I can't diagnose, prescribe, or treat. But if you have a question about an oil that I talked about or something like that, I will hang out here for a couple minutes and see. Um, oh, the hardest part is not to buy everything at once. I know. That's why Essential Rewards is so helpful because you can space it out 
and then you know you're getting that percentage back. I love that. <clears throat> Hey, anybody have questions? Doesn't look like it. Boy, that means I did my job really well, or if you guys are bashful. So <laughs> I know, ER, you know what? It's funny. When somebody starts out new, I think we forget to kind of get them on essential rewards, but I love to get people on essential rewards at the beginning. Um, because then maybe you're only ordering that 50 PV, but you're getting to accrue those spots for that 10%. So then you jump to the 15, and then pretty soon, before you know it, you're at 20% back. And it's just a way that's really helpful in your family budget to be able to spend those points on items that you would normally purchase maybe at the drugstore. Like we buy our toothpaste now, we get it from Young Living, and I use my points, so we're not paying at all for toothpaste, and I feel so comfortable with it. So anyway, okay, any, if there's no questions, I'm going to go eat my meatloaf that I, I, um, that I unfortunately didn't get to eat because I didn't cook it long enough. So anyway, um, oh, see, I see Esther has a question. If I don't buy the kit, which oils would you recommend? Um, you know, to be really honest, um, I would say, um, if it's a financial reason to not buy the kit, I would save up for it because I've had more people that um, just buy one or two oils and then they always come back to buy the kit. Um, and so I just want people to get the biggest bang. But if I was just gonna buy one oil just to try it to see, I would say I would pick lavender unless you had you know, something really specific um, that you wanted to focus on. So. So I would say lavender, but I would say it's definitely um, worth it to save up to buy the kit. Um, and I know $160 is not <clears throat> just something that you just throw out the window um, haphazardly, and I can respect that, um, but I can just say the value that you're going to get, I mean, $360 some dollars <clears throat> worth of product, it's just worth it to save up that money and then have such a variety of oils and the resources that you can get with that. So. Anyway, so hopefully that helped answer. Um, perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay, gals, thank you so much. I'm so glad. Hopefully somebody got some great information, some tidbits out of tonight, and I just so appreciate you joining me. And um, if you follow me on Spreecast, um, just stay tuned. I offer monthly classes, and I love to share with everybody. So.